Lights, cameras, calm. Film producer Dino De Laurentiis secured his legacy by making one of the most audacious remakes in Hollywood history. Dino De Laurentiis and Paramount Pictures present the most exciting original motion picture event of all time, King Kong. The beloved 1933 classic King Kong was in the Italian producer's sights since seeing it as a child. After the mammoth success of Steven Spielberg's Jaws in 1975, Paramount Pictures was keen to get into the monster movie business. But unlike the temperamental shark Spielberg could hide under the waters of Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts, King Kong would be the leading man in this monster remake and would be seen clearly throughout the film. Now, Dino contacted legendary Ray Harryhausen to see if a stop-motion gorilla could be created for his 1970s King Kong. You can read more about what happens in my book Harryhausen – The Lost Movies. To bring Kong to life, a combination of special effects were employed. Intricate blue screen obstacle work, giant animatronic hands, makeup effects guru Rick Baker in a costume-made gorilla suit, and a $1 million 50-foot high animatronic Kong built by the legendary Carlo Rambaldi. The final bill for the film was $24 million, one of Hollywood's most expensive productions at the time. Released in December 1976 and continuing into the following year, King Kong's box office tally at $90 million would make it one of the highest earners of 1970s cinema. It would also go on to win an Oscar for its visual effects. Now I'm going ape for this new 4K release with a stunning array of extras, let's take a look. The film is getting a 4K UHD premiere, courtesy of Studio Canal and Paramount Pictures. The 35mm original camera negative was scanned in 4K. The extras are epic here too. The extended TV broadcast cut is in HD. That was only shown in America. There are audio commentaries including one with makeup artist Rick Baker. Great new interviews with behind the scenes production personnel. Now the 4K UHD standard edition has epic new artwork from Sophie Bland. This also has a Blu-ray disc of the film too. Inside there is a poster of Sophie's great piece for the film here. The new Steelbook has the same disc contents but with great new artwork, this time from Francesco Francavilla. and inside Sophie Bland's great poster again. Now I've always been a great fan of this remake, and despite the film being over 45 years old, there is a confidence in the action set pieces by British director John Gilliman, great cast with Jeff Bridges and Jessica Lange, and a rousing score from John Barry tops off the experience. For me, this is the best King Kong remake. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel here, watch my other unboxing videos and take part in future competitions. Now I'm going to return to Skull Island. An island never seen by human eye nor walked by human foot. We may be sailing into the history books. Lights, cameras, calm!